nicely covered in seawater. Now, this is good. It's a water day. Uh, let's find our sea. Let's do tomorrow's going to be, you know, for those that you want to do the summer solstice, um, 108 or take part in some of it, all of it, you can. Class will happen as normal uh, to your normal time. So, but because we're doing that tomorrow, we'll just be nice and flowy today, nice and soft. Just feeling the flow of the movement. Oh, lovely, lovely, just came in. Let's change over the cross of the legs. So I'm sorry if you've got rain there now, but you know, we need the sunshine and then we need the rain. But the less embody water. Not so much as big starfish. And to practice our sun salutations today. I'm ready for tomorrow. Heading into the summer solstice. And part of the reason, you know, I do this starfish sequence is just to get more flow and movement. So that's the challenge with our sun salute. You know, you need, and it's the same with the weather. You're getting a lot of sun energy. We need to balance it with some water. So we're going to make sure we do that today. Let's just start with the hands down to the earth. Somebody got been collecting, obviously, shells. Got a little um, bunch of shells on the on the side here, and they're all. What I love about them is these these seashells. We've got the spirals, and the lovely spirals. Remember, in the spirals in the body as we move, like water moves. And also like the water, the breath. Let's breathe in for you. Feeling that wave arrive in the body. And breathe out and soften and let go. Ah, oh, just as the wave comes in. Just breathe it in. Here comes the wave. And breathing out. You're just gently crashing on the ship. Feel that whole tide within you move. Everything in the body moves as you breathe. Breathe out, let go. Let's change over the cross of the legs. Put the hands a little out to the side now. So as we breathe in, just thin in a bit more. Feel the wave come into the body. And breathe out. Breathe in fully. Feel the wave come in. Breathe out. Let's take one more. Breath in. And breath out. Continue that wave as we start to breathe. We start to move, breathing in. Breathing out. Just the wave gently building up. The movement starts small. Gradually getting bigger. Imagine it's like this whirlpool, you know, just getting rid of the spiral builds. How's your body feeling today? Let's change over the cross of the legs and go in the other direction. I think yesterday was the first day, and I can't remember how long I wasn't in the sea. I was a bit oh, I was craving it. Feel these times a time for water energy, helping us just soften, go with the flow, adapt to change, release any built up stress, and just feel a little freer again. 
is where water can help us just free and everything else. Okay, let's start to take the uh, legs out a little wider. And let's just blow, whoosh, whoosh the arm from side to side and see the arm just going through, arms going through water. Pay attention to how your body is today. I was on a, a, a flight for what, three hours past three and a half hours. So today, for instance, what I would do is like hold back to my legs, hold like hamstrings, being a lot stiffer than usual. So you take a soft bend. What I don't do is go, right, I need to force them to stretch them. I allow stretching. So bring the legs in, little mermaid side to side. Legs go right. Have a softened down. Lifting up. Legs sweep to the left. And soften down. Maybe even a little whirl there. You know, nothing too linear, organised. Just feeling that sensation. Spiral build. I'm thinking in summer, maybe you know, I put my tripod here, I get in and I teach from, the, from in the water. One of these days. I think it'd be nice to come back for yoga. So lovely. It's time to hold the, uh, the legs to the right and just have a sweep around with this arm and just open up. Some of you might even want to lift up. I mean, really gentle today. You can go a little harder with me if you like. <laughs> you know, it's always the options. It's always it's just a case of listening to your body in this moment. Let's come to the upright. Hold the arms out. Let's fire around to the right and take our twist from there. It'll feel like an unusual twist. We nod the head. Turn the head right, left. And let's switch the legs to the other side. And just warming up the arm, opening up the chest. A little bit airy, this. If you want to, you can have a lift. Or like me, just stay low. Oh, hello, lovely dog. Everybody seems to have just cute little dogs this morning. Let's come up to the upright, arms out, spar into the... That way. Left. Nod the head. And shake the head and just turn the head left to right. Nice and soft. All right, let's come on to um, all fours now. What we're going to do is just transition down onto the belly for a moment, just to wake up the front of the body. And onto the belly. <laughs> a little sphinx pose. Just rocking the hips side to side, massaging the thighs, just feeding your body on the earth. I hope it's not disturbing the sound too much. Let's take the hands out to the side, a little further forward than the shoulders. Really gentle lift away from the cobra. I call it and we roll down. So we inhale, lift, and it comes up fast, and we exhale, we peel our body back down in the mat. Nice and gentle and exploring where the hands are. So again, depending how you're feeling today, you know, just keep it at a level that feels nice. 
water's healing sensation. See the waves get any bigger. Here again. The nice little splash for me. Okay, let's bend the knees. From here, you can keep the head up if you like, and let's just swing the legs side to side. Let's tuck the toes, coming onto all fours. So I'm going to give you a little, few little variations here of how to do the part in the sun salutation that we call a vinyasa. Let's start just by softening the feet, sitting back, lifting the tailbone, adding the hands forward. So we've got a movement that we do called chaturanga, and sometimes that's done from full plank. I'm going to suggest going to do 108. I won't be doing full plank for 108 sun salutations. I'll be doing half plank, knees down. And this is a little bit how it will go. So we float the body forward so the shoulders come over the wrists. We tighten the belly. We inhale, draw the belly in and we lower down the elbows, come in and out to the side. We look down, we push up and then sit back. So we're just going to try that part to start with. Now this is quite hard. So the lower down is going to be optional. Let's try a few of those. Warm up those muscles. And we just come halfway down. And then we're not going all the way down. On this next one, we're going to add on a little bit. We're going to float forward. We're going to lower halfway down. They're going to untuck the toes and then drop the hips and forward. It's a bit like we've been doing in our sequence. And then we exhale, we sit back. Okay, so this is next part. Breathing in, press, breathe out. Breathe in, open the chin. Hips down, breathe out, sit back. Breathe in. Breathe out, press. Breathe in. You call it up dog, and it's a variation, modification, and we sit. Let's take one more. Quite hard on the triceps. Then this time we're going to tuck the toes, sit back, and we'll lift, lift to a down dog and walk through the feet. Okay, for my down dog, our options are to lift the leg or just to step the foot through between the hands. So it's going to be the right leg. You can lift if you want. Breathe out, just step the foot between the hands and then look forward. Just take a pause here. We're just going to take a breath here today. And breathe. Now we're going to breathe in, step the left leg in to join the right leg. And we're going to breathe out. We're going to fold over the legs. And then we're going to breathe in, lift the head, take a big yawning breath. Arms come up above the head. Breathe. Hands come down to the heart. Now we breathe in, we take a yawning breath, arms out to the side. Called Soraya Kriya. Soraya is sun. Exhale, and we're going to fold down over the legs. As you inhale, the hands are either on the shins or on the floor. You inhale, you lengthen the spine. And then we exhale, we plant the hands, we step the right foot back, we step the left foot back, we drop the knees down, we sit back and have a pause here in a child's house. And breathe. Next round. Inhale, float forward. So half plank. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, lift the head, lift the heart. And then exhale, sit back onto the heels. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, lift the heart. 
and exhale. Sit back towards the hips. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, sit back towards the heels and lift the hips to down dog. Walk through the feet. So again, how much effort you put in is up to you. And you can even do this part from the knees, stepping the foot in. We inhale, left leg in. Oh, it just steps through as you exhale. Drop the knee down, take a pause here as you inhale, you look forward. Sink there, we'll pause for a breath here. Exhale. Now inhale, set the right leg in. Exhale and forward. Drop the hips, lift the head, inhale, all lift up, Soraya clear. Hands up above the head, exhale, hands down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So we want the straight spine here, length from the crown to the tail. Exhale, we fold down, set the left leg back, set the right leg back, drop the knees, rest in seed pose. And let's lift the head. Let's flip forward again. Another option here is for us to skip out, lower down. So we inhale, we float forward, and we exhale, and we just hold there, like we do in our starfish sequence. We inhale, we lift the hips, and we drop the hips and lift the heart. And you exhale, sit back. Let's do, do that a few times. So inhale, float forward. Exhale and pause. Inhale. Hips drop, head lifts. Exhale, sit back. Tailbone lifts as you sit back. So we really need to take care of the spine with all this. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift. Hips drop. Exhale. Sit back. Top toes. Lift off down dog. Again, down dog's not for you. Stay on all fours. You can do the same thing from all fours. And if you want to go a little higher with the leg this time, you can. We're going to inhale, lift the right leg up in the air. Exhale, bring the knee underneath you and step the foot between the hands. Take an inhale there. Lift the head. Sink the hip forward. As you exhale, soften. Inhale, step the left leg in. Exhale and fold, drop the head, lift the tailbone. Drop the hips, inhale, arms out to the side. Hands come above the head. Exhale, hands up. Inhale, Soraya Kriya. Salute the thumb. We'll just call this bit salute the thumb. Exhale, hands fold down. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Knees drop. Rest in seat pose. So we do the left side. Little warm up, inhale, floating forward. You know, if you're feeling like really brave and really strong, you can do this part with the knees off. Inhale, up dog, exhale, sit back. I'm gonna suggest that's maybe a little strong. We're gonna be doing quite a few of these, maybe just to keep the knees down. You know, it's always a case of listening to your body. So I'm just using the example of me. So I think stories make it real. But say I was sat in the bus all day. My, my back would just really not want a harsh uh, up dog. You know, we think we need to stretch it out in the other direction, but we need to allow it. And so it's a case of being kind to it. The next one. Open. As we exhale, we sit back towards the heels. We lift the tailbone. We're in a down dog. And then we lift the left leg up in the air. We bring the knee underneath. We step it through. So when we do a lot of these, a lot of rounds of these, what we don't do is do it super slow coming on through because it's going to be 
really hard. So there is a little bit of momentum. Inhale, lift the head and sink forward. Exhale and sink. Keep looking forward as you inhale, set the right leg in to join the left. And exhale, fold over the legs. Bend the knees, inhale, lift the head, come all the way up, salute the sun. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, step the feet back one at a time. Drop the knees down and sit. And, and in fact, this time, open the knees out a little and take the left arm just behind the right arm to thread the needle through. So the right arm's at 12 o'clock, the left arm's at three o'clock. Oh, isn't that nice? And then the other side, right arm goes underneath, little thread the needle. Awesome. Let's come out there. We'll come all the way up to standing just by tucking the toes, lifting off the hips, walking the feet towards the hands. Have a little dangle here and a swing here. Release the head, release any tension, shake out the shoulders. Maybe even bounce the seat. Bend the knees, take an inhale. Soraya Kriya. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just shake everything out. What we're going to do is the full thing each side. So it always starts from standing. Starts with a Soraya Kriya. I'm going to do it once each side. Just do it nice and gently today. Why not? Big toes together. Take an inhale. Soraya Kriya. Salute to Exhale. Fold down. Inhale. Lengthen the back. Exhale, soften over the legs and step the right foot back, step the left foot back. From here, drop the knees down, if you wish. Inhale, drop the hips lift. Exhale, sit back towards the heels and lift the tailbone to down dog. We inhale, we lift the right leg up in the air. We exhale, we step the foot through. We inhale, we step the left leg in, join the right. We exhale, we fold over the legs. We bend the knees, we inhale, we lift the head, we come up, hands together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, left leg goes back, right leg goes back, knees drop, she exhale. Inhale, open the heart, lift the head. Exhale, sit back towards the heels, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot through. Look forward. Inhale, right leg in. Exhale, front. Inhale, lift the head, come all the way up. And exhale. And just pause and breathe. Long deep breath in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out and let go. One more. Straight out the feet. One of the best moves for rebalancing from all that linear stuff is a gentle Tai Chi swinging ox. So we start with the feet planted. So I was teacher training this, but well, she assessing. And uh, Jan, who's a lovely teacher, she's, uh, she's coming to my class last. Year. Here's something like that. Maybe longer. And uh, she did as her warm up on the edge. I said, you know, once you've got the principles, make it your own. And she did this as the warm up, and it was just genius. And we did it for 
good few minutes. Because how wonderful it is as a warm up, but we start slow like this and then we build it up. She'll know it's one of my favorite moves, but you, know, you feel that spiral. It's like the opposite to that linear action you did. But the key is that we're not going short, spinning round, we're gently allowing the spine to spiral and gradually. The arms come up, maybe you want to lift a heel, the opposite heel. There's lots of different variations. This is what some people do it like this, I think. But I like this spiral. I'm going to do this for another 30 seconds or so. It's a real game changer. Also, something you can do from anywhere. Really going to shift your energy. As it feels, should feel nice. Enjoying it. So the arms come up for a little bit more energy. And let's just come to stillness, arrive in stillness. Like standing, grounded, starfish. Close the eyes if you can and just notice can you feel all the energy shift around the body? Spine needs to be moved like a corkscrew. It's a beautiful way that we do it. We rebalance from a sun salutation. We add some water to the fire. Simple. Sick big last little Suwaya Kriya. We're going to come down to seated and down to where we started. Taking a seated position. Oh, it's smooth, which is going to be hands forward and just waving from side to side, just softening. You might even want to just walk the hands around, feeling what the body needs. It's like the spirals we were doing, a little bit more grounded and just even the lower back, some relief. This is all just about regrounding. And relief, you might want to bring the hands forward, soften here, relax the head. Ooh. Oh, doesn't it feel good to move? Let's walk the hands back. And let's change over the cross of the legs. Same thing again, just waving around. You know, there's quite a lot in the sun salutation sequence, you know, the, the back bend and then the flex of that. So we really want to rebalance, we want to make sure we take care of the back. And I'm walking down forward if you like and just releasing any tension there. Again, take a big yawning breath. Embracing the day ahead. Gathering all the love and light that's available and bringing it down into your heart. And from my heart to your heart. Namaste and good morning. If you're rushing off, why not rush it? Right, you're heading off now. Have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. So tomorrow will be uh, 4.30 your time. Apologies for that, but I think some of you'll be up. Don't know about you. I'm waking up at 5.30. Anyway, it's 5.30 my time. It'll be recorded as well, so you can do it at any time. And you don't need to do the whole thing. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, with the uh, whole 108, I'll break it down into nine lots of 12. At the end of every section of 12, there'll be some active rests and twists and softening. And that's when I'll just check the screen if there's anyone in the waiting room. So if you're waiting for a few minutes, I'll be on to let you in. You know, if you want to join at any time tomorrow, don't need to do the whole thing. But if you want to, you want the challenge, see you tomorrow. I'm terrified now.